The Washington Redskins honored some legends of the past on Tuesday after the 1987 replacement players were finally awarded the Super Bowl rings they so richly deserved. 25 of the 26 former players, referred to as the Scabskins, during their brief stint with the team, walked to the podium and were presented with the Diamond Championship rings that have adorned the regular players' hands for three decades. It was obvious by their reaction that the players were genuinely touched by the event. Former defensive back Skip Lane could hardly contain his excitement and pride at being presented with the most treasured individual trophy in the NFL, I'm ecstatic. Lane said to Redskins.com following the ceremony. It's the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. It's weird because it's been such a long time coming and I think it's going to take a while to set in. It's actually on my hand for me to touch it. With Charlie Casserly acting as the master of ceremonies, memories that will last a lifetime were relived for each and every player in the room. For defensive tackle Ted Karras Jr., hearing the support from the fans at JFK stands out. While some have become disillusioned with the state of the modern game, Karras treasures each and every moment spent during his brief NFL playing career, after we played that first game and beat the Cardinals and when the fans were chanting, stay on strike, that turned everything we felt, Karras said. Then we started being beloved and then we went on for the next two wins. That goes on in history. It was very odd at first. It wasn't easy. The NFL is not a right to play, it's a privilege and we got our three weeks. The emotion amongst the former players was evident. Getting to wear the ring itself is one of the greatest honors a player can have, however for fellow defensive lineman Anthony Sagnella, the opportunity to reunite with former teammates, and finally feel truly a part of the Redskins Super Bowl triumph top the list, there's a lot of emotion going on right now for a lot of reasons, said Sagnella, who participated in all three contests. One is the significance of the ring itself. Seeing it and putting it on, knowing what that piece of jewelry means in the National Football League. Getting reunited with old teammates is unbelievable. 30 for 30 film brought back some of us. Today, it brought back many, many more and it's really, really cool to get caught up with these guys. That's really overwhelming right now. Then I think listening Charlie Casserly and Dexter Manley and Doug Williams, guys that were a part of that Super Bowl team, having them embrace us as one team means the world to me. For the longest time, we felt like we were on the outside looking in. Today we feel like we are part of the family. Now, with rings on their fingers, the replacement players really have become immortal in Redskins lore. Offensive lineman Jack Coyle is appreciative of the honor that's been rightfully bestowed upon him, as he got to live out one of the best days of his life thanks to the advocation of some Redskins legends, the reality of it exceeds the expectation, and obviously all of these guys were hoping for this. Coyle said, It's hard to articulate right now. It really is. It's an indication of justification. I congratulate the Redskins and the front office and Charlie Casserly and I appreciate them so much. Joe Theismann, Doug Williams and the guys that were on the film, all of those guys just advocating for us and helping make this become a reality. Four kids, been married, but this is one of the greatest days of my life. Absolutely, 100%.